So I hope you can see here the output voltage is zero. This HV protector is not working. So now I'm going to zen all these screws. It has four screws. I hope you can see inside of it. You see, what I was saying, it has three LEDs. If no one of these thread is on, when you, you, you plug it, check this fuse. I hope you can see here, it has a fuse. This fuse. This is the main relay. And this transistor that you see here, it is switching to switch to switch on this relay. And this one, this IC you see, you see here is a 8-pin IC is a co comparator, voltage comparator. I don't know if you can see it clearly. It is RM393. Dual plus precision voltage comparator it has two comparator inside one is for sensing line voltage and the second one is for delay power switch basically a voltage protector it has two parts sorry three parts one part is for supply auxiliary supply auxiliary supply comprises here this capacitor that you see here sorry protection fuse vdr voltage dependent resistor here you see this capacitor yellow capacitor here also you can see there is a ic this is a regulator voltage regulator regulated output voltage is five also here you can see the potentiometer you can regulate that output voltage that five voltage from four to five so here we are, we are going to check auxiliary DC voltage supply. This IC you see here, it is a voltage regulator. DC voltage regulator 78.005. So now we are going to check if this protector is getting auxiliary supply, 5 volt. So here we are going to check 5 volt and 24 volt. 5 volt is for supplying comparator. 24 volts is for supplying power relay. So this is a ground. Five is there. Five is there. Five volt is there. So let me check twenty four. So now here I'm going to show you a pinout of this voltage comparator. So it has eight pins. Eight pins. Pin number one is output. It is out one. Pin number two, it is inverting output. Sorry, inverting input. Pin number three, it is non-inverting input. Here the symbol is plus here. Also here because you see it has a two comparator internally. Pin number five is non-inverting input. Non-inverting plus or non-inverting. Just 
or here now pin number six it is inverting input pin number seven is output two pin number eight is vcc supply to count pins of this ic you start here you see here there is a bend you start here this from left to right pin number one pin number two pin number three pin number four and pin number five here pin number six pin number seven pin number eight so here you can see there is a, a simplified simplified schematic of this protector this is a, a comparator normally inside it has two comparator so pin number two is voltage sense as long as voltage on this pin pin number two is lower than this v reference one this capacitor will charge will start charging through this resistor so this is the time delay circuit this is voltage sense circuit first comparator second comparator is time delay power switch sorry so now when the voltage on this pin number two is low is lower than this voltage on pin number three this capacitor will, char will start charging as long as the voltage on this pin number five is increasing it will be greater than voltage v reference here i hope you can see if it come if it become greater than v reference voltage the output here will be high now the, the base of this trans NP any p any transistor will be biased so this transistor will will supply this relay when this relay is being supplied it will close the contact for this main relay so we in that case we'll get power also this green led is in a series in a series with sorry this green red is in a series in a series with relay relay coil because normally inside a relay it ha a relay inside it has a coil so if that coil is energized the contact it closes contacts so i hope you have you you have seen how normally this uh protector is working this is a time of delay circuit this resistor and this capacitor this capacitor will charge exponentially it will start on zero volt and volt here it will increases after like one minute it will reach this v reference too it will be greater than this v reference too once it comes greater than this v reference too the output will be high so this transistor will get power if this transistor get power or get bs bs this its base is getting power this coil will be energized and this relay will close contacts no more open will be closed no more close will be open so now our load will get power if voltage surge occur voltage here on v sense will be greater than v reference one if voltage on inverting input is high this comparator will pull down this capacitor this capacitor will this will be discharged in a short time so the voltage on pin number five will be lower than voltage reference two if voltage on pin number five becomes what than this reference to voltage the output of this comparator will will be connected to ground so the voltage here on base of this NP any transistor will be around zero this transistor will be off it will go in off state if it goes in off state this relay will not get energized so this green red will off so it will cut power it will cut power 
going from so it will cut power going to electrical power going to our load whether well, that is a tv or dvd so this is not this is how this protector works so according to this schematic here are things that we are going to check first we are going to check the output voltage on pin number seven also we are going to check this any pin transistor if it is 40 or not also we are going to check this coil of relay also we are going to check this green red so the problem is here also we are going to check these connections output voltage which is the input of this NPN transistor we also check this NPN transistor we check this relay coil also we have to check this green LED because we have seen that this 24 is okay and VCC 5 volt is okay auxiliary supply doesn't have any problem pin number four is ground the voltage between pin number four and pin number seven pin number seven is output 4.18 volt so now you are going to check this green LED this one here this one So green red is okay. So now we are going to check this transistor, any pin transistor. We are going to check this any pin transistor. This is collector emitter base in the middle. Pin in the middle is the base. Emitter collector base. Because it is NPN, this LED probe has to be connected to the base. Hope you can see. Pin with much readings, it is emitter. Lower reading, it is collector this transistor is okay now let us check this coil here here and here coil Coil is okay. So everything is okay here. Now we are going to check connection between this red cathode and and the coil. Connection between cathode of this red and coil. So there is a connection. between coil and cathode of green lead see there is no continuity here
I connect wire between relay coil and green red cathode. So now I'm going to connect it to the power to see if it works. If it works. Hey guys, I hope you have seen how you can troubleshoot or check and repair voltage protector. So for this one, it had an issue with copper traces on the PCB. Printed circuit board, there was a loose connection inside. That's why you see I have put this wire, this white wire. This white wire I connected here, it, was, it is for connecting green red cathode to this relay coil. So now I'm going to, to assemble everything and connect this lamp to see if it is working properly. So now we are going to check if it is working. Sorry, voltage is okay. So now you see it is working. This is a lamp that we have connected. Wait mode.
how it is on so thank you for watching so now click on subscribe button where you see subscribe click on it and where you see there, there is a, a an icon of berry berry icon click on it turn on the notification so that once you upload a new video you will be able to see it thank you for watching see you in my next videos